looking into our long history, the progression of modern human civilization has always been closely related to the fate of animals. The giant panda has witnessed an evolutionary history of 8 million years. However, its impact on the world in the last 150 years since it was discovered by humans scientifically is no less important than another millennial evolution. Over this period of time, the transformation of the giant panda's role in human society has quietly grown into the symbol of the relationship between humans and nature. They once caught the world's attention and brought hope and wonder to mankind that has endeavored to further expand giant panda populations and spread their stories. Their growth has bred miracles, and their future is being rewritten. The modern giant panda story began 150 years ago. Let's travel back through time together and witness the interactions between humans and giant pandas in the last two centuries. The Chengdu research base of giant panda breeding houses a lovely group of giant pandas. Behind the giant pandas are a group of happy panda keepers. From the moment these giant pandas were born, these keepers have been by their side and witnessing their growth. They share many happy and warm moments. These adorable moments are admired by people around the world. Everyone dreams of experiencing them in person one day. Today, the opportunity to get a historical experience with the cutest animal is available. Here is the Panda Reality Show, Be a Panda Keeper. Jointly launched by iPanda from CCTV.com and the panda culture promotional brand Pandapia. In 2019, on the occasion of the 150th anniversary of the scientific discovery of giant pandas, the second Giant Panda Keeper Experience program officially kicked off. This program called on everyone at 18 to 55 years old from all around the world to participate. 12 will be selected from the applicants to go to Chengdu, China, the hometown of the giant panda, for a 15-day journey, where they will be tested over three stages and nine gauntlets that allow each of them to trace the history of the giant pandas ascending to the world stage, experience the wonderful stories that formed between humans and giant pandas, and get the ultimate goal, a historical experience with the cutest animal, getting up close and personal with giant pandas. In October 2019, once recruitment information for the event was released, people from all over the world and all walks of life hurried to sign up. In the video applications of many, everyone enthusiastically shared their stories with giant pandas. I'm already a zookeeper, as I mentioned in the video, I think. Although their stories with the giant panda vary, they all hold the same love for the animal. I really, really love pandas. 
After several rounds, the 12 lucky ones were ultimately chosen. They will head to Chengdu, China, the hometown of the giant panda, as panda keepers to embark on a historical experience with the cutest animal. On the first day of their journey, the 12 participants arrived at the Chengdu research base of giant panda breeding. It must be the first time to visit the panda base for most foreign participants. Everyone looks excited. Is it because they're about to see the giant panda? Huh? Is this the way to the pandas? So, where are the 12 panda keepers heading? What will happen next? After arriving at the base camp, everyone seemed to realize what would happen next. Wow. 本次活动，我们将从大熊猫的前世今生开始，到初步接触到大熊猫的饲养员工作，最后能独立成为大熊猫的奶爸奶妈。我们的活动呢，接下来全程十五天，分为三个阶段，每一个阶段都会有不同的
I just graduated as a zookeeper. Jasper from the Netherlands interned as a zookeeper. He is young and confident, but can he take advantage of his experience and win? Mark is a fitness trainer from Canada. What kind of sparks will happen when he meets the cute pandas? Lin Boda from Taiwan, the treasure island, is also a passionate panda fan, just like Miho. Will he surprise or shock us? Tan Boyang, a native of Sichuan, has interacted with lots of foreigners because of his work. Will he be the best team player? Hi, I'm Rosa. Uh, I'm from the UK. Rosa Munda works for a charity. Does she view pandas differently due to her experience and European background? In an atmosphere full of laughter, the 12 participants each introduced themselves and got to know each other better. I believe in you. Ah, because, <laughs> thank you. Because he has a lot of experience. I think uh, I, I like Melody very much because she, she knows both two control, uh, Western control and uh, uh, Chinese control. So I think uh, she may get good grades in this show. Jasper from the Netherlands, who is experienced with animals, and Melody, who is happily married to a Chinese man and lived in China for nine years, are widely accepted as potential winners. So, what's the result of the grouping? The showrunner divided the 12 participants into four teams based on their respective backgrounds. They will work towards the ultimate goal, to get a historical experience with the cutest animal. The 12 envelopes here, each corresponding to a participant's name, contain armbands in four colors, red, yellow, blue, and green. The participants will go to the envelope holder one at a time and open the envelope with their name on it. The armbands signify who are teammates. Uh, Liu Jia Chen, who's the first to know, is assigned to the red team. Come to me. So this is my Christmas gift because we're not celebrating Christmas. Swing! Should we have a hug before okay, we become bye, rebels? I know, right? I'm sorry. Who's with me? Who's with me? Lu Jai Chun shows a strong desire to be on the same team with Mark. So will Mark be assigned to the red team? Oh, red. Red, wait! <laughs> Hu Mai and Yu, who got along with Lu Jai Chen, is assigned to the yellow team, which upsets them both. Then, Zhang Chen Si joins the blue team. Lin Boda, the Taiwanese, joins the green team. And Kila from Panama is also assigned to the blue team. 
Which team will Jasper, who is widely regarded as a strong contender, end up on? <laughs> Tan Boyang, a native of Sichuan, is assigned to the yellow team, and Miho, the super panda fan from Japan, the blue team. The yellow team and blue team have been the first to form. In the end, only Rosamunda from the UK and Melody remain teamless. Which team will they join? Who do the red team and green team prefer? Ultimately, Melody is assigned to the red team, which makes Lu Jai Chen excited. Rosamunda falls into the green team. So, all four teams are now complete. The red team consists of Lu Jai Chen, Melody, and Mark. The yellow team includes Hu Yang Yung, Jasper, and Tan Boyang. The blue team consists of Zhang Chen Si, Kila, and Miho, which is the only team with all girls. The green team includes Nina, Lin Boda, and Rosamunda. So, is everyone satisfied with their teams? I don't think of it as a difficult, I mean, it is definitely a challenge, but he is very knowledgeable. Um, I think he's probably the smartest of the bunch. I think that teamwork, that collaborative effort is very key um, in these activities. I don't know what the activities are, but um, I think we have like a lot of uh, knowledge built up within each other and we are able to share. So I think, um, I think we're going to do great. I think we're going to be like top, top two. Top two. Not top two, not top two, not top, two. <laughs> top one. Uh, number one. Yeah, number one. <laughs> <笑>我们有两位组员他们的专业都是关于就是东吴保护的 who will be decided as the leaders? What choices will they make in their newly formed teams? Giant pandas are spotted as soon as we walk in the Chengdu Panda Base. Look at that. Yes, you are seeing that right. In the Panda Base, you will only see giant pandas, but also there are some Patrick animals, such as red pandas. In addition to that, there is a lake in the base, which is home to rare animals like swans and ruddy shell ducks. Don't be surprised, as it is a stimulated wild environment stabilized for these animals to reproduce and live in. So don't miss it the next time you visit the Chengdu Panda Base. However, please observe in a civilized manner and don't touch the animals. Uh uh
<laughs> That's what Which is your captain? Um, so I think that either Peter or yeah. Nina should be the captain, and we would like to know if Peter would like to be the captain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Captain? Perfect. Congratulations, Peter. It seems the green team's method of selecting its leader is quite straightforward. This is our captain, Peter Lin. He's going to be guiding us through our road to championship. Xiong Mao Guan Jun. We are the Panda Champions of the World. World. Can Lin Boda, who is not good at expressing himself, lead his team to the top in subsequent tests? Uh, yeah, I choose her. Uh, because I think uh, becoming a captain, captain can have more experience to experience the Chinese culture, so I hope she can do it. And she's outgoing and we will help her. Keela not only has a certain understanding of giant pandas, but also has an outgoing personality and a deep understanding of Chinese culture. So she is selected as the team leader. Okay, I'm the captain. I hope to do my best um, work, and I know that I will receive their support. One, two, three. Girls power! <laughs> How will the blue team, without a man in sight, cope with any physical challenges? I am the captain. And you, are already, already, you are already a celebrity, so you're the best person to be the captain. Jasper, who interned as a zookeeper, was unanimously elected by his team members to be team leader. And uh, yeah, made the best win, and we have a really good team, I think. We are like straight, in, like, go straight to the finish, and I think we will do, do, do a good job. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Eight, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so because yesterday uh, he learned from us so how to do eight in Chinese. So I said it's like this. So we said okay. So when we uh, doing the smiling face, eight is yeah, like this, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think it's uh, something interesting. The yellow team slogan seems quite unique. The last one is the red team. Who will be its leader? Uh, three, two, one, we are Peter, Lynn, and Peter. Yeah. 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 Three, two, one, we are Team Spicy! Best of luck. Yeah. Check out the breath together. You should be the one who telling us to be impressed. Captain. Name captain. You tell me what to do. So she's our team captain. The way the red team chooses its leader is a bit casual. Um, they chose me as a captain since, yeah, I'm young and fearless. <laughs> I'm the youngest in the team, and I'm the like, I don't know. There's a Chinese saying, <laughs> That's a reason. <laughs> yeah, let's do the slogan. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, It turns out that the red team chose Lu Jai Chen as team leader due to her young age and courage, which might bring some surprises. If you want to see me, you have to make an effort. Are they going to see pandas this time? Where is this special place?
Yes, this special place is the Museum of Nature Exploration, located under the Tianfu Panda Tower. So, what awaits the 12 participants here? Located in downtown Chengdu, the Museum of Nature Exploration occupies an area of 7,000 square kilometers and has adopted a brand new model that integrates the city center, untamed nature, and interactive experiences. It's the first natural museum in China to be located in a city mall. After arriving at the museum, the 12 participants explored the gaps between humans and nature from a real giant panda specimen. This is just a simple warm-up to perceive the charm of nature in the heart of the city. <笑>真的觀察了很多動物然後以前都從來沒有見過然後解說員姐姐說裡面所有的蜥蜴全部都是國家級動物保護國寶全是國寶不過看到很多動物是被救助進來的還被他們感到很欣慰就是受傷以後